This is Jake with the support team at Van Dyke Software showing you how to import an existing keyword highlighting INI file into your Secure CRT configuration. In August of 2014, forum user Casey posted a message to our public forums sharing his personal Cisco keyword highlighting INI file for use with Secure CRT. To facilitate importing Casey's Cisco keywords into Secure CRT, we've created a landing page accessible by way of our scripting forum. In the script examples sticky, you'll find the link to the landing page that not only contains Casey's keyword INI file, but also provides a script you can run in Secure CRT to easily import the keywords INI file. Here's how. First, download the Cisco words INI file and the example script file. Make sure you're running Secure CRT version 7.3 or newer. Casey's keyword INI file includes regular expressions, which are not supported in earlier versions of Secure CRT. Third, to run the script, you can either choose script run or map a button in Secure CRT's button bar to run the import script. For example, right click on the button bar and choose new button. Set the function to run script. Browse to the script file. Remember that it ends in .txt. Label the button and press OK. With a session open in which you want to use the keyword highlighting rules from this file, press the button to run the script. Browse to the keywords INI file you downloaded. The keyword file is then imported into SecureCRT's keywords folder, and choosing yes here when prompted will configure the current session to start using the keyword INI file. Here's what the script does for you. If needed, it creates the Keywords folder in Secure CRT's Configuration folder as indicated in Options, Global Options, Configuration Paths. The script then copies the keyword INI file to Secure CRT's Keywords folder. If there's already an INI file there by that name, it renames the new copy to something unique. The script offers to configure the current session to use the imported keyword set and does so with bold and color options enabled. Normally you'd do this manually by opening session options and in the appearance category you'd choose the keyword set as listed in the dropdown here, which is populated by valid INI files found in the keywords folder. If you desire to have the keyword set assigned to all of your ad hoc connections as well as your existing and future sessions in Secure CRT, edit the default session and change the selected keywords entry to the desired value. Disable reverse, enable bold and color, and then apply that change to all sessions when prompted. Here's to hoping you could take advantage of Secure CRT's keyword highlighting feature to help you be more efficient in your work. Stay secure, my friends.